Hi everyone, here's a short video that's about um, key signatures and keys. Um, there's not really any new information in it, but it might be helpful if you want to do this while you're revising. Um, at the end, if you want to check how well you understand it, then there's a little quiz at the end that you can do if you want to. Okay. We're going to start with a summary of all the things we've been thinking about to do with key signatures and things. So, here's a bunch of key signatures. If all you have to work from is a key signature by itself, then that will assign the sofa for that key or for that piece. Um, and it gives you options for the possible keys that that piece of music might be in. So let's think about that again. So here's a wee key signature for an example, all by itself. So we can assign the sofa if we remember the two little bits of information that the last sharp always shows T and if it was a different key signature and not this one we would need to remember that the last flat always shows fa. So there are two little facts that you just need to memorise to be able to do this. Okay, so we don't need to do flats, we've got sharps in this one. Last sharp shows T, there it is. So that tells us that a T is going to be a C sharp. So it assigns letter names to the sofa. Um, we could use that if we wanted to find Do. So we now know Do is a D. But actually we could use that to find any note in this key. Okay, so if we know T is a C sharp, Do is a D, we also know all these are the notes as well. Okay, so the key signature um, assigns the sofa. Uh, also, a key signature just by itself uh, gives you options for possible keys. It can't tell you which specific one it is, but it gives you narrows down the options for you. So it names a possible major key that would have Do as its home note, and it names a possible minor key, which would have La as a home note. So let's just look at that process again. We used the key signature to assign the sofa, and we know that a major key is always based around Do. And with this key signature, Do has the letter name D. And that tells us that D major is the possible major key for this key signature. Okay, so we have to remember the link between Do and major to be able to do this, okay? Uh, once we have the major key, we know that Do is the home note, we just said that. That's the most important note in that key, is Do for a major key. That's the home note. And also, do you remember when we talked about triads, we also said that note number five of the scale is the second most important. So if, we're, if, we, if we were in a major key, then Do would be the most important and So would be the second most important. Okay? Um, if we took that same key signature, but we looked for a minor key, we have to remember the link between the note la and minor keys. So in this case, la would be the letter name B in this key signature. And that means B minor is the possible minor key. Okay, so la is the home note. La is a B in this key. Um, once we have a minor key, we've just said it loads. La is the home note. That's the most important note. In this case, a B. And then if we count up to note number five, that's a me in a minor key. Okay, so in this uh, possible minor key, um, B and F sharp are our two important notes that we're looking for. Okay, so if we put that in context, and we're not just looking at a key signature now, we're looking at the whole piece itself. So it's got the key signature, that's part of it, but we're also looking at the rest of the notes. Um. So this narrows down which of those possible keys the piece is in, okay? So we know that it could be D major, because we just did all those steps, and the other one was B minor. So to find out which it is, we need to look for notes that are repeated often, or that are in important places. And now we've learned a little bit more, we know that there's two notes for each one that we can look for. We can look for the home note, but we can also look for that note number five as well, and that just helps us have a few more clues. So let's look at this particular one. Oh look, we've got Do's all over the place. 
that's a bit quite a big clue. And look what else we've got. So's all over the place. So if we've got do's and so's, that lends us to thinking major, isn't it? Because if it had been um, B minor, we would have had to have seen la's and maybe me's in important places. And we don't really. There's zero la's and there are some me's, but they're not as often and they're not as in as important places. They're kind of just, we're kind of just passing through the me's uh, in the tune. Okay. Now it's time for the quiz. So, pencil and paper, just six questions in this one. Hopefully not too strenuous, okay? Right, so for the first three questions, they're all going to be true or false, okay? So you can just write a T for true and F for false. So, for this key signature, I've given you a wee reminder there that the last flat always shows fa, so that'll help you work it out. So, this is true or false. This key signature could show A major. Okay, so you'll probably need to pause and freeze the screen so that you can work out where your flats go. But could this key signature show A major? Okay, question two. True or false again? And I've given you a wee reminder at the bottom that the last sharp always shows T. Okay, so true or false? This key signature could show F sharp minor. Okay. Question three. And again, we're back. We've got flats again. So last flats always fa. True or false? This key signature could show C minor. Okay, so for questions four, five, and six, we're looking specifically at this one key signature, okay, um, which could show G major and could also show E minor. So all of the rest of the questions, the answer is either going to be G major or E minor. And here's a wee reminder. If we're thinking about G major, then G is the home note of G major. So that's an important one to look for. Um, and also, if we count up, and find the fifth note, D is the other one that's also important, okay? So if we're looking for G major, we're looking for Gs and Ds. That's our important ones. If we were thinking about E minor, then E is the home note of E minor. So that's the most important note in those keys. And if we count up to find note number five, B is also important, okay? So if you think that that's hard for you to remember, you can always just make a wee note of that just now, or you can come back to this part in the video if you need to. So for question four, here is a little piece of music. And I want you to have a close look at all these notes and tell me whether you think this piece is in G major or E minor. And just pause for as long as you need to. Okay, question five, another little piece. Again, same question, is this one gonna be G major? or E minor. And the final one, question six, same thing. Is this one gonna be G major or E minor? Okay, I'm gonna zip through these answers, not take too long, because I don't want this to be too long a video, okay? So question one was true or false, this key signature sh could show A major. False. This could not be A major. The major key that this one shows is B flat major. Okay. Uh, question two. True or false? This key signature could show F sharp minor. That is true. Okay. So if that last sharp up there is T, um, then La could be F sharp, which could mean F sharp minor. Question three. True or false, this could show C minor. False, this could show D minor, but it could not show C minor. Okay, so now we're into the G majors or the E minors. So this piece here, so we're looking for either G and D important or E and B important. And hopefully you found this one quite simple. E minor, okay, lots of E's in important positions and there's a B right at the end as well, okay? 
Question five, not quite so straightforward because mm, there's quite a few different clues. Uh, this one is actually G major. Okay, so a big clue about that is the very last bar. The very last bar starts with two Ds and climbs all the way up to land on a G. Okay, that's a pretty strong clue that it's going to be in G major. I would forgive you if you thought E minor. There's a few things that might have put you on that path as well. Uh, final one. This one here again. This is not the most straightforward one ever. G major or E minor. E minor. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of me's, quite a lot of B's being that highest note in this piece. Um, there's quite a lot of do's as well, but there's also quite a lot of la's. And again, la's the final note. That's a pretty good clue that it's going to be E minor as well. Okay, bye.